What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Just Jamila, and I'm back to you with another video. Okay, guys. <laughs> This video was kind of different. I just wanted to have a talk with you. Um, I'm going to actually have a seat on the couch. And just talk about life and... Uh, you coming over, y'all? Come on, baby. Come on, Rio. Come on. Um, so, guys. Um, like I said, I want to have a talk with you um, about life, updates, and everything that's going on. So, guys, when I originally started YouTube... I started July 15th, 2020. And um, I made my first video, which was the uh, um, lipo laser on my um, arms. And I want to really, you know, show up for you guys. I really want to do all the videos and just, you know, really be focused on this channel. But it seemed like life happened. So... <clears throat> back to the story so july 15th 2020 sorry guys this is my watch going off i'll call my sister back so july 15th 2020 i made my first video which is a lipo laser video it was the summer uh philly was really like popping crazy and um a couple of days after i posted my first video um uh well it was just been a lot of deaths let's just say close that hit close to home Couple days after I uh, made that video, my cousin died. He was murdered. Um, I'm gonna try to find the clip and add it um, at the end of this video. But previous to that, um, I was supposed to make my first video in like January because I originally set up my YouTube account in like 2018. So I've had it and haven't posted a video. But previous to that, my best girlfriend died. And that really just, like, hit home for me. Um, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to be emotional. But when, like, death comes about, it really affects me, you know. And I don't take death well at all. And it's just, like, I feel like so much death has been around me in these past two or three years. It's ridiculous. When I say I've been to so many funerals in the last year i've been to like 10 funerals in the last year than i've been to in my whole entire life like this is ridiculous but back to what i was saying um i lost my best girlfriend i was supposed to start my first video in january i lost my best girlfriend in january i mean i'm sorry in um april and that really hit home for me because she was my daughter's godmother and literally when i say i was with her two days prior to her dying and it wasn't it wasn't good at all it wasn't good at all because she knew something was wrong and i'm up here trying to coach her telling her no it's just all in your head but she knew that sh something was wrong but um you know fast forward i had to end up you know doing her hair for the funeral and you know a couple months later I, like i said in july I make my first video my cousin was you know murdered you know it, it it made the news it was really traumatic for my family and i i could not attend his funeral i could not attend his funeral at all because just the way that they did him was just fucking um excuse me i don't mean to curse was just ridiculous the way they murdered my cousin was fucking ridiculous and whoever did that you need to go to hell but um <clears throat> Anyway, um, my cousin died. Then fast forward, I do a couple more videos. October hit. My grandfather dies. He's really my great grandfather, and God gave him longevity. God really has been blessing this man. But when I say he was more like, I not have my father. My father's always been in my life. You know, I love my daddy. Me and my daddy are close. I'm his twin. But when I say this man was another father to me, he was another father to me. When I say I could talk to my grandfather about anything, I could talk to my grandfather about anything. And I'm not trying to cry. I'm not trying to get emotional. But I'm just telling you guys why I haven't been showing up like I say I want to. Because it's just been so much death that's been going on. Um, 
my grandfather dies, you know, October the 1st. And he lived to 101 years old. But again, like, he was almost like the man that never dies, if you understand what I'm saying. He's always been a part of my life. When I say, when I was 10 years old, this man was 80-something years old, picking me up from school, taking care of me. When my mom was at work, like, he would go get the medicine, you know, taking my temperature, you know, like, making sure the bed was comfortable for me, cooking me soup, and just attending to me. That was this man at 80-something years old back then. I'm 32 now, and it's it just like a piece of me left when he left. So, fast forward, you know, to the beginning of this year, 2022, and I was just praying to God because I'm very religious, I'm very spiritual. Just praying to God, like, God, please just make this a better year because 2021 was really crazy. It was an effed up year for me. Like when I say just friends, family, it's just like dropping off like flies. I'm just so tired of hearing about death. So, um, towards the end of, well, the end of the V-Day challenge, um, we're coming up on, you know, March, I get a phone call. It's my mom. Hey mommy, what's going on? Uh, Uncle Steve died. What? This is like YouTube. Like, how much can a person handle when they really just, it's like people in your family are just dropping off like flies. And this like threw me for a loop. Like, I haven't seen my uncle in a couple years, but every time I see my uncle, he was funny, happy-go-lucky, the life of the party. You know what I mean? And it's just like everybody is freaking dying. Everybody is freaking dying. And... I found out his death after my last video, my workout video with my girlfriend. I was going to add to that. But again, boom, I found out about another death. So I just really wanted to tell you guys, I'm really going to, you know, start showing up for you guys more. Again, life is just happening to me and my family. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's God telling us, look, we need to get more into the church. We got to pray more. We got to do whatever. But it's, it's just really um, been a crazy, you know, couple of uh, years and months for me. So, um, I just want you guys to just keep my family in prayer. Um, like I said, I'm going to continue to show up more, regardless of what's going on in my personal life. But, um, yeah, guys, like, if you could relate with me, just drop a comment down below. Dr mm, I'm sorry, drop a comment down below. And, you know, just tell me about, you know, your story. You know, your journey. How do you deal with death? Coping um, techniques. You know what I mean? Because, again, like I said, I don't I don't deal with death good at all. Like, I'm one to overthink, overprocess. Like, even with my grandfather, like, it was just like, you know, was he scared before he died? God, please make his death, you know, make it be instant. Please don't make him be in pain, you know. So, mm. Anyway, like I said, I'm an overthinker, so like I said, just, you know, drop a comment below, you know, let me know how 2021 and beginning of 2022 turned out for you and how, again, to cope with, you know, life happening, you know, death in the family, stuff that happens that's, you know, traumatic, you know, so I hope you guys can relate with me, um, like, comment, subscribe to the video. And I'll be back with another one, guys. See you soon.